YouTube, it's Erin, and I am the Handbag Housewife, and I'm back again with another video. Today's video is going to be an unboxing video. Yes, you heard it right. So this box is so big, it doesn't hardly even fit in the screen. It is humongous. This one is from Saks Fifth Avenue, and I watched this bag for quite some time. I think the original price on it was $350. And it went down to 180 something. And then one day it went down to 151.90, I believe is what it was. And I really think I would prefer this print that's on this bag in a different silhouette, like perhaps the Rogue 17 or the Cassie 19. But. I think the Rogue 17 would be too small for me. So I would end up trying to sell it just like I'm trying to sell my little quilty Willis bags. I think through the 18 size. I think I would probably end up selling the Rogue 17 for similar reasons because it just doesn't hold quite enough. So then that leaves the Cassie 19 in the print that this bag is in, or this bag. And I know people, Yoda Style in particular, who have this bag, as well as another one of my subscribers, DS, has this bag in Croc. And she loves it, and Yoda loves it, so I figured... Why the heck not? If it's $151.90 $1 and it's normally $350, that's what? 70% off, roughly. So let's dig into this and we'll see if I like it. I may have already said this is from Saks Fifth Avenue. I am incredibly impressed with the size of the box. That means that to me that it was packaged with care. You can see here it says Saks Fifth Avenue. It has a little bit of wrapping. The bag isn't incredibly well padded, but it is still factory wrapped. So can you guess what this is? I bet you can. This is the Willow 24 tote. I don't know if totes included in the title, but it is a tote and it is in the cherry print. So far, all I am seeing of this bag is what you are seeing. Let me just pitch this gigantic box out of the way and see if this bag is worth $151.90. So out of the four unboxings that I will do upon arriving back from my Nashville and Smoky Mountain, Tennessee vacation, this is really the only one I am uncertain about. You may have just watched my Papaya Coach Camera Bag unboxing and I knew that one was for me. I knew I liked the color, I knew I liked the style, this one I ordered because I never got the chance to really try it on. I guess I could have tried it on in a, in a different print, just like a solid to see if I liked it. But when I looked at it at the store, I really was drawn more to the field tote style. If I wanted a tote bag, than I was to the willow tote style. And whenever the willow tote... Whenever I saw it, I loved the shape. I particularly liked the lilac croc version of this bag. But for some of the color combos, I don't like how the hardware, the C, stands out so much from the bag. I really like it when the hardware of the C is very muted. And I'm feeling a little bit of a roughness there, but it's been wrapped, so I think it's probably fine. Yep, it's fine. So let's go ahead and unwrap this. I'm going to unwrap it all the way because now, at first glance, I do think I will like the bag. I never buy stuff with the intention of returning it, but in this case, I just was not sure if I liked it. And I had to order it to be able to see it because I can't just go to a store like so many of you can. I do know I'm not alone in being far away from stores. And I feel so lucky and blessed that now in this time period of our lives that we can order things from department stores. And if they don't work, we can return them for free for the most part. The strap is here. I'm actually liking the strap better than I thought I would. It's a narrow strap and I like my thick 
chunky straps. So I'm actually considering possibly trying to find a red strap to go with this bag that's thicker. But I do have a chalk strap, so maybe that's the way to go. All right, let's go ahead and continue unwrapping so we can decide if this bag is right for me. And you have to let me know, what do you think? Once I get it on and I model it for you, I did put a little bit more clothes on than I did for my last video <laughs> where I was still in my pajamas. Listen, people, we drove over nine hours yesterday and we drove three hours the day before and we were at the Vince Gill concert forever, which was fabulous, by the way. He is an amazing talent. So the bag does come with a dust bag. I know sometimes from the department stores, you don't get that. So this is really cool. One of the things I'm concerned about, and the reason is because my friend who's DS in the comments, if you ever see her, she had an issue with her magnet on her Willow 24, the croc magnet, it didn't work. So let's see, does it work? It appears to work. It is hooking on. Does it work with a lot of force? No, it doesn't. But the base of the bag here is pretty wide. So as long as you're not stuffing it to the top, it'll probably keep it closed. And I do like that the bag, it does curve in. And so when I stand up, that curve rests on my hip, most likely, once I have the strap on and I model it for you. I about just was trying to pull the front off, but it is not a magnet. So I'm gonna go ahead and dump out everything. I'm gonna look, look inside here. We've got paper on the inside. There's just paper and things everywhere. Okay, so the first thing I notice is that the inside is sort of a Safiano leather. It has the magnet here and the magnet there. Can you see that? And the whole side of it is Safiano leather. So this is really a spill-proof bag for the exterior parts of it. There are no pockets in the exterior parts of this bag, but that's okay. It does have this center compartment and the center compartment is a fabric lining and it has the coach written on the lining throughout. It is a coach New York piece as opposed to being a 1941 piece. And you can tell that, you can tell that by looking at the zipper pull, which says coach New York. And I realize that's upside down, but I promise you it says coach New York. And then one thing also, we know this is authentic, but if you look at the, the little knobs on the clips, they do say coach on the top of the knob and coach on the bottom of the knob. And that has been consistent across all of the authentic coach bags that I've seen. If you ever get one where it's side to side, you might need to evaluate whether or not it is authentic. I am not an authenticator by any means, but that is something I have noticed that several of the bags that I questioned the authenticity of, and again, I'm not an authenticator, but when people send me pictures of bags, if I notice that, that's a red flag for me. So the original price on this bag was $350. The last I checked, I think you may still be able to get one of these in chambray. What I can find, I will definitely link in my description box. The prices went up, it was 183, I think, and maybe even a little higher on other websites. But I did wanna show you, look at this really cute tag. I love how the cherries are on it. And I know a million people have showed you these, but there is glitter in this part of the cherry. The thing I really liked about the Rogue 17 bag of this is that the print was on a smooth leather. And I think you can get that also if you do choose the Coach Soft Tabby, which has been available pretty widely on regular department store websites. And that leather, I believe, is smooth too. And for me, I really liked that. But again, I felt like the Soft Tabby was too big of a bag for me for that print. And then I felt like the Cassie 19, well, it doesn't have the smooth leather. It was really just between this one and that, and the Cassie 19 was twice as much. So I had to try this. So I'm going to go ahead and try this on. 
I'm wearing a green top because I thought it would be a nice contrast. So there you go. I kind of think she needs a chain to decorate. So let me grab a chain. This is my Coach C chain. You can't buy these, I'm sorry. I will try to link some chains down below. If you want to try to achieve a similar effect with a chain that does not have the C's on it, but I do want to try this one with it. This one seems like it's sort of meant to be with this bag, but looking at it, I don't know that it is. It kind of lays funny. It's okay. I'm going to try it with another chain. And by the way, I don't know that this bag needs a chain, but I like to play. Most of my bags on display, well, a lot of them on my closet shelves actually have some of my really good chains on them. So I thought I would just try this one because it was handy. I can shorten this chain, no problem. It is one, I bought some Yi chain extenders so that I could get the O-ring in brushed gold or antique gold, because that's what these are. And I took three different ones and combined them to make this. And it's extremely lightweight. I do have the bigger ring on it because that's just what I had. So I created this look with a couple different chains that I hooked together and they were just meant to be bag extenders, like strap extenders. I do think I like that look with this bag better than the coach chain just because of how it drapes. I'm curious to see if it's long enough to do shoulder and the answer is no. So let's try two more chain options to decorate this bag. I have this option, which is a chunky shoulder chain by Yi Chain, and you can get these on Amazon. They do tend to twist a bit, but it is a little bit longer than the brand XIAZW, and I think you're gonna need that length if you do wanna try to wear it on your shoulder. And yes, it is a very comfortable shoulder carry with this chain. I do recommend this chain with it. And I might actually just carry it that way as opposed to crossbody. I will check and see what I think of this dangling. If I was going to carry it crossbody, I would probably choose that other chain that's not quite as long to be an accessory. The final chain I would like to try would be the Cassie 19 chain. The advantage to this one is that the hardware matches perfectly. I would say the disadvantage is that it can be a little heavy, but it does drape beautifully. I do like how it drapes better than the C chain, which is good news for you because there are a whole lot of Cassie 19s out there in people's closets that you could use this chain to decorate your Cherry's Willow. So I think this bag is a keeper. I don't know if it's 100,000% a keeper, like, I'm going to leave the tags on just in case I change my mind. But for now, I do think it's beautiful. I gave you kind of a tour of the inside of the bag. Let me do a little spin. So you can see it has this pleating detail here, which I think is special. I think that looks really cool. And then again, the 3D, the cherries are almost a little bit three-dimensional. It's not a completely flat print. I don't know if you can see that but it isn't and look it does have four feet which is really nice and then there's the other side we'll do a close-up on the turn lock and then even the handles have cherries on them I would say this is a win I'm going to keep the tag on tell I use her Cammie's Closet just did a video about bags she's never used and Lori's Treasure did it a video talking about bags she's left the wrapping on. If I'm considering a bag seriously, I have to take the wrapping off. So this bag has the wrapping off, but I will leave the price tag on it until I carry it because that way I have the flexibility to return if the tag is attached. And I don't think I'm gonna return this because it's such a freaking good deal. But if the Cassie 19 and Cherries goes on sale in the next month, then I might have to consider that 
as opposed to this, just because of how I know the Cassie 19 fits on my body. This is fun though, and I love that it's a different style. So let me know what you think. Do you love the Willow 24 in the cherry print, or would you hold out for the Cassie 19 when it goes on sale? I'm interested to see what you say down in my comment section. And as always, do not forget to go check out my box. I will link whatever cherries bags I can find at a deal, including this one if I can find it. But I have a feeling I will only be able to find chambray. They do come in and out of stock. So continue to check the links because the links will bring you to this one and the chambray if this one happens to pop back in stock. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, what are you waiting for? Do it and ring the notification bell so that you don't miss exciting new content such as this. You can also find me and contact me through Instagram. My name there is the same. It's the Handbag Housewife. And email is another way to keep in touch. My email is thehandbaghousewife at gmail.com. So if I don't hear from you, I will see you again real soon. I hope you have a fabulous day. Thanks again. Bye.